And now, marine weather around Alaska. Hello, I'm National Weather Service meteorologist Peter Chan with your Alaska Marine Weather Outlook on this Monday, August 5th, 2024. And we're going to start out with the sea ice. A lot of open water along the northwest coast, uh, southwest there with the Advik, all the way down to the Bering Strait. But there is some ice that has come back down along the Russian coastline, just given the circulation of winds over this way. Uh, we still have, though, a warmer southerly flow coming in off the north slope across the Arctic coast. In fact, this Tuesday afternoon, it's been as warm as 80 degrees at Dead Horse. And those warm temperatures will continue in the 70s to near 80 degrees again for the day Wednesday, especially east of Utjadvik as you get around uh, New Exit and uh, Dead Horse eastward. So the main weather feature we're keeping our eye on is this front. This is a conduit for another atmospheric river that's bringing heavier rainfall. Kodiak Island, the western gulf along the eastern Kenai Peninsula into uh, western Prince William Sound. Uh, the frontal system out to the west near stationary here uh, across the far northwest out there toward Point Hope and down uh, between uh, there and the Bering Strait. Now a little piece of energy will be lifting northward during the day Tuesday. Ridge of high pressure still holding over the panhandle and along the eastern mainland. Very warm temperatures, 80s, could even be an isolated 90 degree reading on uh, Wednesday. And as I mentioned, warm temperatures still for another day or two up there along the Arctic coast, at least until we get to midweek. So come Tuesday afternoon, this front just slowly works its way east. It's not advancing fast because this ridge of high pressure, not just at the surface, but in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, is preventing this front from moving eastward uh, with any speed at all. And on Wednesday, just slowly creeps eastward. So we're going to continue to see areas of moderate to heavier rainfall along the Western Gulf up into Prince William Sound. Even the Anchorage Bowl could pick up an inch, perhaps more precipitation between Wednesday morning and early Friday morning. So the marine forecast for the Panhandle, still warm conditions. There are some marine layer clouds out there, especially along the outer coast, but otherwise certainly intervals of sunshine and warm temperatures. Variable winds across the uh, inner channels we're looking at five to 10 knots and waves a foot or two. For the outer coast, Sitka southward, northwest winds 10 to 15 knots, swells four feet. And uh, outside of Gustavus, uh, Yakutat Bay, we're looking at west winds 10 knots. East winds, Cape Suckling, swells just around four feet. And then on uh, Wednesday, still kind of a mixed bag of winds. South winds 15 knots up there along Lynn Canal with two foot waves. North winds there around Stevens Passage, two foot waves, northwest winds, 10 knots there, uh, Dixon entrance, and waves a couple of feet. Offshore uh, along the coast here, we expect westerly winds of some component, Sitka southward, 10 to 15 knots, swells four to five feet. Turning more easterly outside there of Yakutat Bay, 10 to 15 knots and swells as high as six to seven feet, especially toward Cape Suckling. Strongest winds, on Tuesday, we'll be there at the entrance, Lower Cook Inlet, 35 to 40 knots, southeasterly winds with swells of 9 to 11 feet uh, off of uh, Anchor Point, Middle Cook Inlet, southeast winds to 25 knots, easterly winds there, Upper Cook Inlet with wells, waves of 3 to 4 feet, east winds to 20 knots there within Prince William Sound as well as outside of Hinchinbrook entrance and waves within Prince William Sound, 3 4 feet. For Wednesday, we expect easterly winds to continue there at 20 knots within Prince William Sound, perhaps 25 knots outside of Hinchinbrook entrance, increasing to 30 knots off the Kenai coast, and then southeast winds 25 to 30 knots into lower Cook Inlet. Uh, swells could be as high as 10 feet just northeast there of Kodiak Island, otherwise northeast winds middle upper Cook Inlet at 15 to 20 knots. In the vicinity of Kodiak Island on Tuesday, look for Southeast to east winds 25 to 30 knots, strongest on the east side of Kodiak Island. Uh, still southeast winds 20 knots, uh, upper, upper Alaska Peninsula, but becoming variable around 10 knots as you get down toward Cold Bay at False Pass. And waves generally four to six feet on the uh, North Pacific side and around three feet on the Bering side. For Wednesday, uh, variable winds, Shellacroft Strait, 10 knots, southwest winds, otherwise right around 15 knots along much of the length of the Alaska Peninsula, becoming more westerly, Co uh, Cold Bay and False Pass, 
uh, swells four or five feet on the North Pacific side, two to four feet on the Bering side. And across the Aleutian chain, generally west-northwest winds 15 to 20 knots, swells on the North Pacific side around six feet and generally five, six feet on the Bering side. And as we look at Wednesday into th um, the day Thursday, we're looking at westerly winds across the eastern Aleutians, right around 15 knots, picking back up though to southerly winds to 25 knots there around and west of Kiska. For the southwest coast, winds will be northwesterly St. Matthew, St. Paul at 15 knots. Look for south-southeast winds around 20 knots from uh, Bristol Bay, Kuskokwim Bay, up along the lower Yukon Delta and as high as 25 knots here within uh, Norton Sound. And uh, we're looking for waves generally four to five feet, as high as 10 feet though out there toward uh, St. Matthew. And then for Wednesday, with the low circulation that's gonna be out in this area in the vicinity uh, near uh, St. Lawrence Island, look for southwest winds into Bristol Bay and Kuskokwim Bay at 15 knots, waves three feet, west winds 15 to 20 knots, out there toward the Pribilovs and St. Matthew, waves five to six feet, and then Kind of a mixed bag of winds, south winds within uh, Norton Sound of 15 knots with a few foot waves and off of the uh, upper portion here of the uh, Yukon coastline, north winds to 10 knots with two foot waves. And looking at the north coming up through the Bering Strait, the south side of it, if we're on the west side of St. Lawrence uh, or the Seward Peninsula, 30 knot winds, north side of St. Lawrence Island, north winds to 20 knots, swells seven to as high as 11 feet, lower Chukchi Sea, southeast winds south of Point Hope with waves five to eight feet. Winds fall off, become more easterly once you get up there, uh, north of Point Lay up to Utkiadvik, east southeast winds 15 knots and generally south southeast winds along the Arctic coast, where again, still warm temperatures within this region, Prudhoe Bay to Kaktovik and on Wednesday, Winds are gonna become more easterly there along the Arctic coast at 15 knots, shore parallel. Southeast winds 10 knots of the Advic to uh, Point Lay, turning more easterly offshore flow there at Cape Lisburn and Point Hope, and then turning northerly toward the uh, Bering Strait at waves three to five feet in the lower Chukchi Sea here. But then turning southerly, once you get south of the Bering Strait, we expect south winds, 10 knots, lighter winds along the uh, Seward, uh, western Seward coastline but as high as 25 knots there, just north of Gamble, waves generally four to as high as six, seven feet there uh, in the far north end there of the Bering Sea and the, just south there of the Bering Strait.